Cleveland and they, they don't couldn't make lose a sandwich. Oh, no. They don't put their feet up. They didn't even no. get a soda pop. Really? No. The they, best team in the league lost couple, three times. A couple sips of Kool-Aid. They do okay. let Jameis throw three touchdowns and lose 29-24. Here's Lamar. Every loss is frustrating. Um, yeah, because we've been we've been doing so good. You know, um, offensive offensive side of the ball, defensive side of the ball. We just been putting points on the board, keeping teams out the end zone. We just got to play better. People probably look at Brown's record and and be like, oh yeah, that's a sorry team. But it's like this: is the NFL. I always say that this is the NFL and. Any given Sunday, a team can be good. Uh, any given Sunday, a team can, you know, wake up and just be, it'll be their day, um, be their day. Uh, we just got to play better um, all around, that's all. I think Lamar was trying to be complimentary there. It felt like he was dissing the Browns. Like, they look like a star team. Uh, <laughs> Brew, are you worried about wasn't. your Ravens? Not this loss. It happens. And there were smart people saying years ago, Jameis Winston was a dark horse MVP <laughs> candidate, and he was. <laughs> They'd be playoff contenders yeah. if they were playing Jameis all season. Yeah, or Flacco. But, but a loss, it happens. I, I'm not worried about that. I judge everything by can they beat the Chiefs. And with this defense, now I'm, I'm still optimistic because they got a long way to go. This defense is not a Super Bowl defense. Now, they have a culture of defense under John Harbaugh that I think they can improve over time, but they better get going now. Because, and I look, I res- they, they're 26 in scoring defense. We can show you their defensive numbers. Let's see the numbers. Yeah, I mean, last year they were top, good. last two years they've been top three in scoring defense. They're 25th in yards allowed. Yeah. Last two years they've been top 10. And they got the worst pass defense in the league. Yeah. Now, some of the analytic numbers show that they're covering guys. They're, there's not a lot of separation. Whatever. But the problem is this. Miscommunication and blown coverages. And look at this score when the Browns went ahead 20 to 17. Look at what's going on before the play. Yeah. That's my problem. Why is that happening? I, I respect John Harbaugh as a coach and a man. He's got a Super Bowl. But look. They look like a poorly coached team well, to me right now. No, I, and I, in respect, well, what is that, Coach? Well, sometimes there's probably a, a blitz to formation, so they're looking for the side that the blitz is going to come to. I think they initially they thought it was going to be set to the left. Then it was a three-by-one. They were bringing the pressure to the right, so they just had to get the guys over there. And that, that, that does happen. I don't think that's necessarily But this, poorly this coached. happens to them every game. Well, they, they can Every game that. they seem to have a blown coverage. I think it's more a function of they just won two, two big games. They're riding a five-game winning streak. They're playing a team that's lost five in a row. Jameis Winston hasn't started in, in two years. And so these are the hardest games to coach to try to get your guys up for this. And they just figured at the end of the game, they'd figure out a way Can to I, win it. I, I get that. Without well, like, having to be as tight as they need to be. Yeah, I don't mind the loss. You're going to have regular season losses. Well, they yeah. lost to the Browns last year. Yeah, but, All right, yeah, but losing to two it's the teams miscommunication. Teams yeah, I mean, right. losing to the Raiders and the Browns in the, twice of, in the first I mean, eight ha- weeks of your season, it's pretty bad. Listen, this it, was I the best. This, this All week long, bad. I had to listen to this is the best team in football. All week, I had to hear it. I didn't hear how the, the defense is coming on and the offense is oh, unstoppable. DBs. The yeah. offense has two MVPs. Well, and then, they, and they then in this MVPs. game, in this game, this is what happens when the Ravens lose. People are like, man, why Derrick Henry only get 11 t- carries? Yeah. But the reason is because all week long, everyone was singing Lamar's song about how his league MVPs never played better. Yeah, we got to get more than 11 carries. Okay, well, but then, so it's, I mean, I, sure. I saw this. Guys. The, the Baltimore Ravens in the year 2024 have played 11 games. They've lost five of them. The Baltimore Ravens, just facts. Wait, calendar year? Okay, so, yeah, I was fine. This year, they played eight games. They lost three of them. They, they, if you barely win more than half your games, you're not a juggernaut. And the Ravens okay, have been discussed like a juggernaut. They're so not. what are, what they're are not, they? They're a good team. They're a good they're team. One of the, t- the Chiefs are up above everybody, yes. and then uh-huh. the Ravens are with just about anybody else. Nah, I don't know that I they agree really with that. Are. Someone's got to be they, the second best team. Right, Detroit is better than them. No, in the I, AFC. In the AFC, you won't. Okay. So the Chiefs eking out a win against the Raiders means that they're this juggernaut team. I mean, get out of here with this nonsense. My Lord. I don't think anyone was saying that the Ravens are a juggernaut, right? Or that they're never going to lose another game right? This is the NFL. 
this is football. Um, it was like Mangini talked about. Um, it's tough to get these guys up. I've talked about this a lot, right? It's why these you know, when you listen to coach speak and, you, and they always say, you got to play who's in front of you. You got to play who's on the schedule, right? There's no easy win and all that. It's what coaches try to instill into players. And some players buy into it, some don't. Um, but it's 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 definitely a thing. And and because I, I see people kind of talk like that where they're like, oh, and you know, no no win is easy in the NFL. And it's like that there, there's some truth to that, but not necessarily. And I think that the, that the Browns, are actually could actually be a good team but they've been a disaster offensively which then also puts a lot of stress and pressure um and mileage on that defense which then makes the defense look worse than they actually are so when you get a quarterback uh, that's just even marginally better you're gonna be better off right and so the browns were a playoff team last year right the, the browns were not this sorry bunch of guys with deshaun watson absolutely and I've even, you know, inspected that defense from last season to be like, well, how good was this defense really? So I'm not trying to paint the picture that the Browns are this juggernaut team or this great team. And with Winston, they were going to be a top team in the NFL. I'm not saying that either, but it's just like they're also not the Carolina Panthers either necessarily or what the Jacksonville Jaguars were. So, um, but it's still a bad loss, right? No matter how you slice it, this is a win that you want to get, that you need to get, quite frankly, even just for the division and, and playoff seeding, right? I mean, you were kind of neck and neck. I know two games behind the Chiefs, but it was still possible. Now, when you lose three games, it's hard to imagine that the number one seed is possible right now. And then it's like, now you're in contention to be fighting for the number two seed. It's just, and even fighting for the division, who knows what the Steelers keep doing. Um, I'm recording this video. I think this is going to post on Tuesday. So it's before the Steelers play. So for all I know, the Steelers just got rocked or they, they, you know, dominated. So I, you know, I don't know. So I'll, I'll just leave that to the side. Um, but it was, it was a weird game plan. And this is what the Ravens do, right? Lamar Jackson, 38 pass attempts. I, I don't understand where. No matter who the quarterback is, Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, Jalen Hurts, to me, that magic number is like 20 to 25 pass attempts. Sometimes you need more, right? Sometimes that's what the game calls for. But this game did not call for that, right? So 23 for 28, for 38, 289 yards, two touchdowns, 101 rating. Like, it's not like a bad game from Lamar. It's not a bad game. And again, Lamar Jackson fans, I'm not saying that, you know, he needs to throw less because he can't throw. I'm saying that's my philosophy behind running an offense and a game plan because Henry has 11 carries, okay, for 73 yards, 6.6 yards per carry is insane. That's a two full yards more than the average. So, like, what are you doing? And if you don't want to use Henry so much, then they should have went all in and got another back. They should have just been crazy and said, we're going to go out and get Saquon Barkley and Derrick Henry, right? If that's what they, I mean, like, if that was the name of the game for them to be this dominant run team, but they want to be more strategic with Henry because he's older or whatever, then they should have just been like, whatever, we're doing something that the NFL has never seen. We're getting two top five backs, putting them on the team. They're splitting carries. They're both going to eat. They both have different ways to attack. Yeah, we got to move some money around, but we're doing it. Like, I, I mean, like, because like, like, how can this be? Like, that's what makes it bad. If this game where, where Derrick Henry had, you know, 20 carries or whatever, and Lamar Jackson threw for 28 times, and then you still lost, then you would have to, like, kind of really reevaluate and be like, well, how did this game unfold? What were the issues? What happened? Blah, 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 blah. But even if you just look at the box score, you go, oh, I already know what happened. I don't even need to watch this game. I mean, I did watch the game, but you could just be like, I already know. I get it. And that's a problem. That's that's poor. That's a poor game plan. And the game itself, if you actually do watch the game, did not call for that. Don't try to tell me, oh, well, the defense, they took away the run game and this. that. I, I don't I don't want to hear that. OK, I, I don't want to hear that. I, I, I really don't. Um, I, I just think it's you're setting them up. They were two for 10 on third down, two for 10 on third down. I don't know how many teams are able to win games like that. Right, if you're going to be two for ten on third down and zero for two on fourth, right? The bizarre wildcat play, you know, on fourth down, like, 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 why? Like, like, that's the thing that confuses me. Why do that? 
It's it's unnecessary and it's not your identity as a team. It's just it's just it it it, it there just seems to still be confusion about the identity, right? That's that's where it where it comes down to me. Um so but I mean again with Lamar Jackson you still have always have a chance, right? He was still consistently putting the Ravens in a position to win that game. That's why I also take issue where like, you know, Nick Wright's kind of like going off about the Chiefs and and how bad the Ravens are and Lamar Jackson and he had another clip which I don't know if I'm going to review. I don't even know if I have the energy where he was like going off on about Lamar Jackson not being that good of a quarterback relative to Mahomes and Mahomes, you know, because he was apparently saying that the Mahomes game was like this big win and awesome win against the Raiders even though he had another interception and whatnot and it's like if you actually watch these games you're not going to say that lamar jackson was the problem here right lamar jackson wasn't the issue i don't blame lamar jackson for this game i mean he was he was doing everything that he that he needed to do quite frankly um the defense was the problem for the ravens i mean oh my god that final touchdown drive uh, i wrote down you know um uh you know the the baltimore uh the Cleveland Browns, I mean, it looked like Patrick Mahomes out there, right? This A second and 15 touchdown? It was like, ooh, we got him second and 15. Nope, Mahomes is there. Just an effortless toss for a touchdown. I mean, it, it was just, it was effortless. It was literally effortless. And it's a shame because they had the interception. They had the interception and it was dropped, but it just, it, it didn't need to be that close, quite frankly. Um, you know, the the Ravens also had some bad drops right to Bateman right and wide open it's just those little things come back to get you and so I don't think there's any juggernaut team right now I think the Detroit Lions have the biggest punch right because what they can do offensively but when they play tougher teams um they don't necessarily lay that big punch so they can they can really beat up the bad teams but there still needs to be some clarity here but to me the margin of error is small for all these teams. The Chiefs legitimately could have lost to the Raiders with Garner Minshew. And the Raiders have nobody right now. That game should have, if the Chiefs were really that special, I don't care how many injuries they have. They got Patrick Mahomes, Andy Reid, right? The legends of the legends. They should have been able to blow out the Raiders and they were not. So don't come and tell me that the, that the Chiefs are this juggernaut of a team. And neither are the Ravens. You have to accept that. And neither are the Eagles. The Bengals, the Texans, the Packers. There's no juggernaut this year. There's absolutely no juggernaut. Last year, the two juggernauts were the 49ers and the Ravens. And the Ravens obviously dominated the 49ers. But both those teams didn't win a Super Bowl. So being a juggernaut can sometimes be significantly overrated. Because the Chiefs are not a juggernaut, yet they keep winning. Right? Because they keep doing these little things. When 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 the when the game is on the line and it matters, they are able to get the job done which is not something that the ravens were able to do so i know brew has kind of this like unconditional belief that they'll get the defense right as the season unfolds at this point we're pretty deep into the season um so i i don't know i i really really don't i don't know where the fundamental issue is at least defensively for the ravens and why offensively they they keep hurting themselves with this with these bizarre game plans and again don't tell me it's just because of well, what the defense is giving them because i i i reject that philosophy i understand sometimes it can be but sometimes it's just my offense is better than your defense i don't care what you're trying to make us do we will be better at it right sometimes that's what it comes down to we know what you want us to do, but we are still going to do what we want to do because we are better. We are more prepared. We can execute better, right? Sometimes it is all about taking what the defenses give you, right? Sometimes it really is about that, taking you what the game gives you and, and, and that it can definitely be right. But sometimes it's like, I know what you want us to do, but we're still going to do what we want. And I've seen the Ravens kind of mess up both sides of that of that equation um so but in no way is this like an indictment on on the ravens or lamar jackson or in no way is this a aha i told you they're not that good because 
because he because in the beginning of this clip nick wright i mean it was like when they were showing highlights i think he was like oh they're the best team but they lost three times wow that's amazing and it's like he thinks that the chiefs were the best team last year they obviously won a super bowl and again they lost to the broncos they lost to the philadelphia eagles who nick thought was a trash team they lost to the raiders right so they lost to the broncos the eagles the raiders i think the bills the packers like they lost they have like lost so I, Nick is feeling really high right now because the Chiefs are undefeated. And so I guess apparently as long, if you're undefeated, that just means you're amazing. And if you're not undefeated, that means clearly you're not good. And it's just like, that's, that's never been the reality. That's never been. Because even when the Chiefs, because again, under that logic, all of these other teams had better records than the Chiefs. And yet clearly Nick thought the Chiefs were better, right, than them. I don't think Nick thought that the you know the detroit lions or i forget any of these other teams that uh the 49ers for instance they were, were better than the kansas city chiefs so you can't just go by strict record nick also thinks that the Bengals are still a good team even after losing to the eagles right so again this this idea that we're just going to be very all or nothing black or white with the baltimore ravens it's like we want to lose any sense of non uh nuance when discussing the ravens i will not allow it here I will not allow it. But those are just my thoughts. I'd absolutely love to hear yours. What do you guys all think about the Baltimore Ravens um, and the loss, obviously, to the Browns? Let me know in the comments below. I read every single comment. So whether you agree with me or disagree with me, either way, let's get in some discussions. Let's get in some fights. But ultimately, let's just have some fun. And please do consider subscribing. We're building an amazing community here, and I'd absolutely love to see you part of it. I want to build something that we all genuinely feel connected to. Something that we're really excited to be part of. I think we're well on our way to doing it. And please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, as it really does help with the visibility and the algorithm. Thank you so much. See you next time.